Yeah, a lot has changed. We've shifted pretty much everything over to the other kitchen. It's closer to the dining hall. Uh, we're just kind of waiting on this pot roast. So let's check it out and see where we're at. Ooh, loving the consistency of that sauce. Ooh, yeah. All right, Neely, you want to give it a taste? I will give it a taste. This is where we do any final seasoning adjustments. It's going to be a happy Thanksgiving. Mm. Mm hmm. So we're gonna plate this up here, bring it over to the other kitchen, uh, keep cooking it and plate everything up over there. But we only have one tilt skillet over there, and we have collards going, we got a bland crabs, we had to cook the pot roast. So it's kind of like a game of Tetris today. So let's go. Beautiful dining room. Thank you, Miss Taisha. This looks wonderful. All right, so we're starting to, foils right here, dude. Starting to unwrap these turkeys. We're gonna fire those up, crisp them up again. We just blanched some green beans. They're cooling off. Those are getting ready to go. Take a look at these, Neely. These are getting there. A lot of collard greens, man. It was like here, and now it shrunk down. There's our smoked turkey going back in. Thank you, Pasan. So how far are we from service? We are about two and a half hours from service. So if you want to come back here, check this out. It's all about that timing, right? Like it was kind of hurry up and wait. Now we're ready to go. So we got fried chicken about to come out. We just did our second dredge on those, looking beautiful and crusty. It's a and lot of chicken. It's a lot of chicken. That was 200 pounds. Uh, we just made some caramel that went on top of our sweet potatoes. Those are about to go in. Got some candy pecans we're gonna garnish that with. Kuncho's over here getting our baked mac and cheese ready to roll. And then we got everything working over here on the stove. So I'm gonna check these out. This is gonna be our glaze for our hams. So we're gonna put that on top of these, put them back in the oven, get that a little crispy. Uh, this is gonna be a balsamic bacon fat vinaigrette for the fried Brussels sprouts. This right here is a maple honey butter for the cornbread. That's coming together. Here's the gravy. That's pretty much where we want it. And then next we got cornbread dressing that's about to come out. Uh, we got rolls, we got croissants. What else we got? Oh, we're gonna fire our snow crab pretty soon. Coming together. Oh, it is all coming together. It's going to be delicious. Very excited. So it hadn't just been today. This has been over a couple of days. Yes, we started on Monday just getting things ready, making lists, just making sure everything is ready to uh, get together, mise en place and all that. And then we will go from there. And it's just been every day, <laughs> every day. So Super Bowl day for us. <laughs> 12,600 steps. <laughs> so, we get you on chopped or go against Bobby or something. so you know what man I've actually applied a couple times um, I got home from work one day and my wife says hey babe I just sent an application in for you for be Bobby Flay uh, I love watching those shows chop would be my favorite
Somebody reached out from Beat Bobby Flay about a month ago and asked me to fill out like a more formal application. So I did that. Haven't heard back yet. But yeah, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Here's the song and Dawa. You guys doing all right? But yeah, huge fan of Chopped. I've been watching that for a long time. Whenever I'm home, it's chopped. Yeah. I don't know what the hell I have in the kitchen. So <laughs> it's, it's uh, I mean, that's kind of what we do every day on a really big scale. Lately, I'd say the last like four months, we've had some uh, procurement issues uh, from where we source all of our food. And, you know, I'll order A and I'll get B, or I'll order 10 and I'll get five. So it kind of forces us to improvise. And uh, yeah, it's an important skill in the kitchen. Corner. Yeah. Hey buddy, how long is this one? Let's go 10 minutes and check them. We're just trying to crisp up that skin. Cantala, can you do these for me soon? Thank you. There are certain dishes during Thanksgiving that there's a certain way they've got to taste. <laughs> and uh, it's our goal to make it just right. Shrimp cocktail sauce here. Sweet potatoes, going in. Sweet potatoes in, Hurd. All right, Neely, better get another taste test. I love the taste test. <laughs> We're still going to season these shrimp up a little bit more, but see what you think of that. Yeah? Wonderful. Mm. Wonderful. Okay, we're just waiting on some platters to come out of dish. Thanks to our lovely dishwasher Kantar over there, really the star of the show, the unsung hero of the kitchen. Uh, all glory to her. She's got the hardest job back here, and uh, it's thankless. been here since 5 a.m. this morning probably get out of here at about 8 p.m. not gonna complain not gonna say anything but positivity it's hot. It's hot. get those hot hands <laughs> a little more tender just a little bit salt a little salt they're right there you can taste the uh, turkey in there too you get the turkey yeah, just a little more salt. Maybe 15 more minutes. This room cocktail would be the star of the show, Neely. And I love you and respect you. But I think this might be the star of the show. All right. Some wild caught snow crab. Bring them in flash frozen, super fresh. We're going to blanch them in some uh, seasoned poaching water with Old Bay and some lemons. Serve them with drawn butter. There is nothing traditional. I love it. Like, you're not sticking to a game plan here. It's just. Nah, the game plan was kind of, you know, bring all the traditional stuff, but then also put a nice yeah, little touch on it. You yeah, know? exactly. Like, you got, you got my mac and cheese and my collard greens, but you got shrimp and crab. Right. Southern feel meets, you know, just generic Americana. So yeah, that's I what love we're it. Going for. So let's see, what do we got here? These are 40 pounders. I got one more. We'll pull out if we need it. 40, 80, 120 pounds. Wild caught snow crab. It's good stuff. <laughs> Pan them up, hot box it, clean it. Then we're gonna season that water. Probably a whole one of these. Then when they come out, more all day. All right. Uh, can you get some butter melting? Just plain butter for these. We'll put a little on top, but then we're gonna serve a bowl. Right. Same, but we're gonna need to take a whole thing out there. You know? Dali, you doing good? Yeah, that's fine. I think it was enough time. 
Yes, but we're going to carve it, you know? Then along that ham, finish off the turkey. Then we can start putting the ham sauce on it and getting those ready for the oven, too. All right, we're going to start assembling some of these hams, Neely. All right, Chef, how long is showtime? We got 45 minutes to go, man. Everything's kind of right at the end, finishing it up, plating it up. Comes for you matter of getting it down there. Trying to keep an eye on like when guests arrive and make sure that stuff hits the table as close to when they're gonna eat it as possible. That's the trick in a situation like this. I think it's gonna be good. I think it is, man. Feeling good about it. Okay, you guys. You know, we're getting ready for our CU football Thanksgiving feast. And we're just cleaning off the ice, getting it polished up. You know, we love polished things, right? Remember who our boss is. We love everything polished, neat, clean. And yeah, there you have it, need to be. Tom, let me give you a testimony. Yes. See, they see this mm -hmm. on the table. Mm -hmm. They don't know it came from here. They don't know. When I tell you that damn ice heavy, <laughs> Insert clip of you trying to pick it up right here. <laughs> hey, it's pretty, y'all, but it's, it's equally heavy. Man, I've been here since 8 in the morning. <laughs> Thank you all for being here. Such a glorious occasion. We got, we got so many who are away from home, from family and that type of thing. So for us to be able to come together here as one makes it extra special. So thank you very, very much. Also.
great time. Everyone's happy. Uh, love talking with everybody. It's the fruit of the labor, you know? I think they love it. I think, I think so. they appreciate it. So we can close out like we always do. Why would somebody go to school anywhere but Colorado? Really? I mean, look at this. You would have to be a damn fool. Why would you go anywhere else?